you guys and welcome to the toy grid and i'm here bringing you another review uh, and today we're reviewing the power ranger lightning collection uh cycle green uh finally cycle green is out uh you can get cycle green at the hashbro post uh website he only is exclusive uh to the website so is he's not gonna be in any other um like any local store it's only going to be on the hashbro post website that's the only place you could get him and i'm really uh, excited about this figure today because i've been looking forward to getting cycle green uh i don't know too much about cycle green but i just love the idea that we can get uh another cycle ranger figure it just i love overall the cycle rangers and it just the idea um when he was released when he was created that we uh that we got another cycle ranger to the team so that's a really cool idea that in the comics that the people who created him they got that idea and now we have another cycle ranger so yeah uh before we get started i just want to show you how he came in the package uh he looks really great uh, you can see the um, his image on the side. Uh, the art style looks really great, like always. Uh, the logo on the bottom, uh, In Space Cycle Green, he looks great. Um, you can see on the side, uh, the logo, um, not the logo, uh, the image of him again. The art style looks great. Back at the box, he looks awesome, posed, uh, nice picture. And you can see he comes like with his lightning effect and dagger on the picture and also on the other side you can see the in space logo and the art style again going across and that's about it and see the art the box looks phenomenal and yeah that's about it for the box so yeah let's get him out of the box and get a, a closer look at the figure and here it is you guys cycle green out of the package and he looks great it like it just I'm just wow because um, alongside the other Psycho Rangers that came out, this one looks great. Uh, just by the paint colors they added with the green, um, just, uh, it just looks a lot better. And I really like the 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 type of green they use. I think they might have used an emerald green. I don't know. It, it, it's just the way I, I'm looking at it. It just it looks that type of green for me in my eyes but overall it's a gray shade of green they use for the colors like for the figure he looks really great and also like um pretty much it looks the same uh alongside with the other cycles um i will bring the other two cycles i had i have for comparison but i will in a minute but overall i just want to talk about the uh cycle green for a minute like the uh, detail and paint wise they use for the figure it looks great um for the chest emblem like um i didn't see anything like off here or anything like that or or by the apps section like the buttons here by the app section like the silver buttons are really good and everything um below the waist like even alongside the boots are really good but yeah, I didn't see any paint colors like being smudged or off with this figure like on the body. And the letter it looks really good for for Psycho Green for for everything else like back and front. Yeah, the figure looks really good. Uh, yeah. The only problem that I had with this figure, like it was so good, it was so excellent until I got here, until like <laughs> when I got close to the face. Like, I like I like the face, how the paint was on the face. And then when I got here on the, like there's a little uh, chip like off here on the silver area, if you can see like right there. Like, let me get a closer look, like right there. Like it's off and it just, me no like it. Yeah, I just really don't like it. Like everything else was good. Everything else with the paint on this figure was good. All, all was good until I saw this on the package when, when I opened it up. And I was like, ah, oh, so close on being a 10 out of 10 for me, uh, for this uh, Psycho Green, uh, for this Psycho figure. But after I saw that, I was like, no, Hash Bro, you almost got me, but 
almost. But it's okay. I could easily fix that with paint, like with silver paint. I could easily fix that. It's okay. But when I first saw it, it was like, yeah, that's that kind of got to me. So for Psycho Green, he comes with a, a few accessories. Uh, he comes with an extra hand, like an extra fist hand. And he comes with his electro, um, not electro, his shocking hand where it has a electricity green hands, like what it comes with all the psychos um, that it comes with. And also he comes with an effect piece, like what every figure that comes with um, this effect piece um, is different from the others is green, like emerald green type of um, effect piece. The other were, were like blue or yellow type of color. And his main weapon is a, the dagger, the signature psycho green dagger that he uses. Um, I gotta say, when I took a closer look uh, on the of this weapon, it's really well detailed. Like I'm gonna zoom in with my camera. Um, as you can see, like the detail on this uh, dagger is really good. They took, um, Hashbro took their time in detailing um, this figure. Um, you can see like the um, the emblem on the dagger right there. It looks really good. Um, the paint application is really well implemented. Um, the silver and the green really balance out well. And also the gold on the handle, like uh, um, below the handle. And it looks really good. Like it's a really well made uh, weapon. And I I just wish I just wish we could see a lot of. Uh, well detailed uh, with the weapons like this. Um, but I'm guessing since it was an exclusive, uh, like on Hashbro website, I'm guessing they took their time and making it a really well detailed weapon. So for Psycho Green articulation are pretty much all the same for the male figures. So uh, Power Rangers are, uh, they're pretty much the same articulation uh, wise to nothing, um, anything, nothing really has changed. Uh, nothing really is new implemented so pretty much everything all the same but for this one i can just show you really quick that if you get a cycle green like there's no um i can show you real quick the articulation uh why it's like that he could bend his elbow really well put his head like 360 degrees like, oh, wait, all around. Uh, just watch out for the color. When you do that, just go all the way around. Not going to do it again, but yeah, you get to um, make the head go all the way around. Knee articulation. Um, also for wrists, abs articulation really well. Uh, for this one, I, it doesn't feel stiff or anything like that. So the articulation for the abs are really well. Uh, side to side, you could twist his torso like all the way around. And foot, you could go up and down. His foot, you could go up and down for this one. Oh, I haven't checked this one. Okay, it's good. I just don't want it to like be really stiff and break it. But yeah, overall, the leg goes up and down. You could go side to side, back and forth. And yeah, and also the arms, you could rotate it or all the way around for both really easily. And you could lift them. Oh, I haven't checked if I could lift them really easily. So yeah, you can lift them. This one's a little stiff, that's what I would say. Yeah, this one's a little stiff to go up. But overall, the figure is really well uh, articulated and there hasn't been any like stiff joints except for this one like around the arm for the left side of the arm for this one. But I know all the figures for Psycho Green and others when you get a lightning collection figure are not going to come out this way. It depends. Like sometimes you get one is really stiff and some uh, won't. So if you're curious how of how Psycho Green he looks with his accessories, he look like this, look like this, and he looks like this. And here is a comparison of Psycho Green with Psycho Red and Blue. Uh, these are the two uh, uh, Psychos that are out right now. I know we're getting uh, the rest of the Psycho Rangers uh, pink, uh, yellow, and black. With the with the with the five pack of the all the Psycho Rangers uh, exclusive for Amazon, uh, I already pre-ordered for that. So so when it gets here, I'm gonna do a review of that, uh, comparing all this, uh, doing a review of all the Psychos 
Uh, the thing that sucks that since I got already red and blue, I'm getting another um, another red and blue when with the five pack of all the cycles. But yeah, um, when it comes out, I will be doing a review of that. But um, overall, when um, just wanted to show you that cycle green that looks really great with the other cycle rangers uh, with red and blue. And when the others uh, come with the five pack, yeah, he gonna look even great with the full team together. And that'll be a really awesome thing to see. The only thing that bothers me about this figure and what always bothers uh, bothers me is how their neck, like it's all the way down, like their helmet is all the way down to their neck. Like you don't see their necks. So like, as you can see, like I did a comparison between green and blue. Like, you know, with green, like, you can see, like, his neck. It's, like, all the way down. It's, like, it looks okay, but but his neck is just, like, all the way down. When I first saw the preview for Psycho Blue, like, his neck was, like, sh shift all the way down. Like, his helmet, like, putting his neck all the way down between his shoulders. And I really didn't like that. I was, like, oh, it looks really, like, weird and off, like, for the head, uh, for the head, like, with the neck. So, like, as you can see, like, I did this with green. Like, I just shifted the neck, um, his helmet right up a little bit. And look, uh, with the neck, it just looks a lot more better. Like, like, like this, it's not holding still, like, the, um, the helmet. Like, it could come out really easily. But I, I know if you're displaying it, if you shift the head up a little, the neck will look even better. Like, it will show off the neck and the figure looks a hundred times better. Uh, that's just a, a, a nitpick I have, but, you know, not every figure is going to be perfect. But I'm just glad that we're getting the Psychos and we're getting the full team. But, but yeah, that's the only complaint I have for this. So that's all for this video, you guys. Thank you uh, for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, and I will do the next video on the Psychos 5-pack. Um, when it comes in, um, it will release on the 1st, and I was told it will come in on the 5th of August. So I'll, when it comes in, I will do a re uh, review, and I will post it uh, when I can. But yeah, and also, if you guys are interested in getting Cycle Green, you can only get them on the Hashbro Pulse website. You can only get it there. Uh, you cannot get him at Walmart or Target or any other uh toy store uh toy store or retail store or anything like that you can only get him on the hashbro um post website that's the only place you can get him exclusive there that's all and if you are interested in cycle green like backstory and because he only shows up in the comics not like in the tv shows uh like the other cycle rangers like the other cycle rangers came out in the space uh series and for Psycho Green, he came out in the Boom Studios uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers um, issue 20. So if you're interested about Psycho Green, you can read the issue uh, for the Boom Studios comic. Or you can just go on YouTube and type in the history of Psycho Green. And there's a lot of YouTubers um, that, uh, that have breaking down the history, um, has breaking down the history of Psycho Green. And I watched a couple of them, and they did a really great job on breaking him down, his story on what, uh, who he was and everything like that. And it's a really awesome uh, background story for this character. And yeah, you should, um, if you're interested, just give it a, um, take your time and look uh, through it if you want to. I also have another YouTube channel uh, that I do my gaming uh, walkthroughs. So um, I've been doing The Last of Us Part 2, Ghost of Tsushima. I've been doing also other classic games like uh, the first time I play um, Shadow of the Colossus. And I'm going to be play, playing other classic games like um, uh, Spyro, um, also like God of War and other stuff. But uh, I will do it uh, when I can. But if you're interested in seeing my walkthroughs, just, you know, uh, come on by. Um, I'll be leaving a, a link down below um, on this channel. And also, if you're interested, um, I also do 
photography uh, for my figures, um, I leave uh, on my Instagram account. So I leave um, the link down below for this video. If you guys want to follow me, that would be awesome. And yeah, that's about it uh, for this video, you guys. I will see you guys on the next one and have a good day.